So he was the original, the first Tapia? Uh, no, he was, uh, his last name was Robledo. Right. And there's a mountain named after him in Mexico, in uh, New Mexico. I see. Where he died on, uh, it was like a, a rest area. And uh, he passed away there. And the people there gave the mountain his name. Hmm. And uh, it's still, some people call it by his last name. And some, because the U.S. government took that property over when, when it became part of the United States. And he was... Uh, what was his last name? Robledo. And uh, he was a family of nothing but redheads. Right. He was a redhead and all his children were redheads. And the only daughter that, that he had married Tomas uh, de Tapia. And that was the, uh, the surviving, the little boy that I, that I mentioned was orphaned. Right. When his father went to on a campaign. Right. And uh, she had two brothers that were in a, uh, they had a confrontation between the Indians from, uh, they called this place Acoma. Acoma is a bluff. Right. And uh, in the conflict between the Indians and, and, and the Spaniards, the two brothers, I think, perished too. The two, and the reason they're they're so uh, obvious is because they were all redheads, right? You know, uh, made them stand out. Stand out. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and what what year was this approximately? Uh, seventeen. 80 something. Right, right. Uh, uh, Ben's got the dates because right. he's in his memory a lot. Right. Keener than I. But uh, then there's a history written of the families from then, the Tapias. And there's several families because, you know, the families split up. And all right, that. right. And, uh, there's a, a society too that uh, they call it the uh, herencia. It's a Hispanic name for uh, inheritance, and that uh, that gives all the way down to I think it's my great grandfather or that family, and the the little community of San Miguel, which was at, at one time the, uh, it was a crossing in the river, that's what they named also the uh, Del Bado, that's, that means uh, a, uh, like a crossing, you know, the, the river was shallow. And that's how the Santa Fe trails used to go right through there mm -hmm. to Santa Fe. And uh, for many years, the uh, you can still see parts of the trail where the wagon trains mm -hmm. used to. Uh, Do you want to out? I suppose we're going outside. You guys want to go out? He was, uh, in, uh, in Santa Fe itself, there were property owners, there was one, there, one of the main avenues from the freeway 
right through the city of Santa Fe. They call it Cerrillos Road. Uh, he used to own a lot of property along, and there was a, uh, they also called the uh, Asequia, which is the irrigation ditch. He used to own from that river, from that road, which was when the road back then, it might have been just a, a cart. Right, right, like a dirt track? Yeah. Right. Coming in from Mexico. Right. Uh, because there was a lot of people migrating to the place. And I think our family was traced to the sixth group of Spaniards that came from Mexico into New Mexico to they were, I'm sure they were making offers to, you know, homestead. Right. Because uh, we, Mexico had so much land and they wanted a homestead so that our people would, would be living there in that, you know, that country. Right. And, uh, this was like in the Santa Fe area. Yeah. And, uh, Many of the, uh, the Pueblos, Indian Pueblos, were taken up by people that would come in and make friends with the Indians, you know. And, uh, but they did the Indians wrong. They, uh, first of all, they wanted to become Christians, you know. Right. And change all of their a religion, which they probably didn't have, uh, you know, to them it was different. Exactly. You know, they believed in other things. Right. Know. They they believed in the sun god, for instance. Right. And everything had a purpose. You know, the uh, the climate, seasons. Any number of things, you know, they believed in. And uh, I don't know if you, if if uh, you've ever visited, uh, like Chaco Canyon in New Mexico. I, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think uh, I, I know I was in the Santa Fe area, you know. So yeah, may well, have this this is uh, this is at the. Uh, Almost at the Four Corners area. Of, right, I've been to Four Corners. Yeah. Right. But uh, we were we visited Chaco Canyon, which was a, uh, a community that was really uh, populated at one time. They even uh, they didn't have water over there, so they build a, a, like a, a ditch, you know, a canal for right. the river, and uh, what they used to do also was uh, they would harvest wood, trees and all of that, in Colorado where there was a lot of forest, right? and they would transport them in this river where they needed them, you know, where they were building. And they've got these houses, buildings that were built with little rocks. 